So by now you've probably updated your GoodNotes app and noticed the new feature called Elements. And in this video, I just wanna share some tips and tricks on how to use it and use it for digital planning. So yeah. Before we start, I just want to thank you for being here. And if you aren't subscribed yet, it will make my day if you just hit the subscribe button for me. All right guys, so if you have ever gotten annoyed of copying and pasting stickers, repetitive tasks, sticky notes, etc., then this elements feature is going to be a game changer for you. So with this feature, you will be able to access all of your stickers and your most used objects and input them into any notebook or planner so much faster. So after you update your GoodNotes app in the App Store, you will see a new icon in the top toolbar that looks like a blue circle with a yellow star in the middle. So if you click on that, you will see some pre-made collections from GoodNotes already. So they have the mind map shapes, sticky notes, back to school, text stamps, and everyday stickers. And you'll also notice that you can, if you lasso an object or text or anything image, you'll see a new menu item. So instead of the usual, you'll see add element. So when you click on add element, you can add it to a new collection or a pre-existing collection. So now if you want to reuse any text or image or anything, you can just add it into elements and, you know, use your stickers through there. So you don't have to open up, you know, another GoodNotes file. You won't have to open up the iCloud drive or anything like that. Okay, so let me show you guys three ways that you can add new stickers to the elements collections. The number one way I already showed you guys is just by lassoing whatever object or image you want, and then clicking add element. So that's one way that you can do that. Another way is if you say you want to add an image from your iCloud files. To do that, you just click on the elements icon, and then in this bottom section, you just go all the way to the right until you see this plus sign. So you'll see two options to add photos or import from. So if you do import from, it will open up your iCloud files. So you can just add it like that. And then you just rename it and create a new collection. Unfortunately, you have to do this one by one straight from iCloud Drive. But I have a workaround for that. So the next tip that I have is by just using add photos. So to do that, you need to go into your iCloud Drive first. And let's say I want, I bought this from Etsy and I want it to select all of it and put it into GoodNotes. So the first thing you want to do is save it to your album. So I just put save, just go to share, save 37 images and it'll automatically add it to my photos. And then we can go back into GoodNotes, click on the elements icon, go to add and then click add photos. So now you can see that when I select it, I can select more than one at a time. So the fast way to do this is just by selecting one, swiping right, and then swiping down and you can add a bunch at once. And then you can just select add and it'll create a new collection and you can name it and then hit create. Okay, so that's the way that you can add your stickers very quickly you know, bulk in bulk from your photos. So you have to take it from iCloud and then put it into photos. And then you can just go back and erase. Once it's added into the GoodNotes app, you can delete it from your photos app. Okay, so now I wanna talk about the ways that you can use elements when you are planning. So you can add elements into your notebooks or planner simply by clicking the elements tool. And then, you know, you can select it here and it'll open up or you can even select it from anywhere within the planner, as long as it's selected on the toolbar. And then once it's open, you can browse through all of your collections. And then you can just select whatever image you want to use. Another way that you can use the elements tool is with this split window. And then you can just drag it into your planner. So that's kind of like the same way if you were to open up a new notebook, except now you don't have to go into your menu and then find your sticker and then open it and then do split screen. 
you know, you don't have to do all of that anymore because now it's just all in elements. So that, you know, saves us a few steps. So yeah, some of the ways that I organize my collections is, you know, by the tie, by the shop that I got it from. Cleaning stickers, I have like flags, Christmas stickers, some washi tapes, then general images, and then from the shop that I bought it from. So yeah, those are the collections. Um, another way that I love using the elements tool is with repetitive tasks. So let's go into me. Let's go into my daily page. And whenever I plan my day, it's always the same every single day. Like I have my morning routine and then like some of my tasks, like eat breakfast and eat dinner. So I created a collection called tasks. And now all I'd have to do is simply go into elements. So now I don't have to, you know, copy from another day and paste it. I can just open up elements, go to my tasks and then select the task. So I have like my morning routine right here and then it just automatically saves it. And the really cool thing about these elements is that even though this is one element, I can still change everything in it. So this is a text box and I can, you know, still change the text around. I can, you know, type new things if I wanted to. And yeah, so you can change the colors of it. And I can remove this image. Maybe I want to use a different image, things like that. So I love using this for my morning routine and my daily planner um, for dinner, and breakfast, and you know, just tasks that you do regularly. Okay, another way is by reusing your drawings or your handwritten items. So I'm no artist, but Let's say I, you know, made this text box right here with a font and I really like the way it looks and I want to use it every single week or every day, you know, so let's say I want to reuse that all the time without having to type to do and then make it all designed. So, and you want to reuse this header every time. All you'd have to do is lasso everything, click add element, and then you can like create a new collection called headers. And now, you know, when you're planning your weeks or whatever, all you'd have to do is click on elements and then just find where you saved it. And you can add that header every single place that you use it. But yeah, so those are some of my tips and tricks for adding new stickers into elements and using it for digital planning. I also wanted to mention one more thing, like let's say that you want the exact same icon, but you want one in this size, like say, let's say you want it a specific size. So you can just select it like that and then resize it to the size you want. And then you can add that same exact element again. And when you do that, now when you reopen it, there's the latest one. It'll come out as the exact same size again. See? But when I get the other one, it's big. So that's a cool thing. You can add the same image, but in different sizes. So like if you don't want to keep resizing your icons every time you bring it into your planner, you can just resize it first and then add it as an element later and it'll keep the sizing. So I love that you can do that because you know, a lot of times you don't want to resize them every time you bring in stickers from like your iCloud drive and stuff. So yeah, um, if you guys want these black and white icons, I have them for free on my blog. Just head over to the link in my description below and you can download these black and white icons and then, you know, try to add them using the method I showed you, you know, adding it from your photos. So from the iCloud, save it to your files and then add it to your photos and then you can add all of them into a collection like this. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to gift you guys some of these black and white icons. So be sure to check out my blog post and yeah, let me know what you guys think of this update and be sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see how you guys are using it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.